The marketplace, it looks like out of the box, doesn't seem to be downloading, so you will have to go ahead and um, do those steps that I outlined. It looks like it gets frozen at the starting download. Um, but that's not a big deal right now. It's not that hard to do if you have another Android device, especially. So let's actually go in and and look at a little bit at this device and see what's going on here. So in the settings, we'll look at the about, and we can see what the kernel version is, etc. Um, so this is number 133. Uh, it says 2.1 update 1. So again, I'm used to the that being the back button. This is the back button, which I think is, as I said, better. So let's see, clicking on music. Takes a second for it to load. Going to pop in a micro SD card, and it sticks out a little bit, which is too bad. Really, quite a shame. Um, the other strange things about this device are that sometimes applications open upside down, um, but otherwise, those are the two main flaws, and they're not huge deals. Going to add the task manager desktop and all the tasks. Now let's see if the IR remote works, etc. Okay, I'm just gonna click on a song. Let's see how it does. Okay. Let's try out that remote, shall we? Well, it's possible you may have to install a program for this IR remote to work. Um, it's possible the battery's out. It's not seeming to do anything right now. The speaker is decent, but I probably wouldn't be able to use this for anything other than personal entertainment. Oh, there we go. It's pretty decent. See that it does have a four-way sensor, so it's able to move the screen as needed. I'm gonna click the home button again. Let's try a YouTube app. videos on YouTube. Oh, hey, what's up you guys? I am here in Venice. It smells like rape and alcohol. And you're probably Great. So it works. Next, next we'll uh, boot up another device where I've gotten the market working and we'll show you some of the other apps. So this is actually not a movie that we're watching. This is a file that I'm playing on this device through the HDMI cable that's housed on this uh, micro SD card. And I'm going to go back and see uh, what else we've got here. So again, to do the HDMI out, you just go into settings and then you go to sound a display and then go to um, I'll just show you <laughs> output select HDMI this is full 1920 by 1080p which is <laughs> extremely impressive as this beats the iPad um, again then I just clicked on gallery automatically looked at the SD card for um, pictures and, and movies and the only thing that I have in there is actually a 700 meg uh, movie file. I think it's Gladiator or something. And there it goes, and it's already loading. And, uh... Oh no, it's X-Men. Nice. I'm Kiss my flight's
pretty interesting. It's playing both on the speakers of this device and, uh, and also on the uh, on the TV. We're going to look a little bit more what this device can do. So I've installed ADW Launcher so I can customize these buttons here. At set CPU, we see it's running at 720 megahertz. Um, and if we go to info, we can see a little bit more about the processor. It's a Telechips TCC89. Um, I think we can overclock this thing to 800 megahertz. Um, but either way, it's good enough right now. I installed a Winamp remote client. So in here is an example of an app loading a little bit upside down. Um, but now I can actually control my main computer's media center. Um, with this client. This can be useful. Showed this in another video. It's, uh, it's a trick. And let's look at a game. And I haven't been able to get a good uh, 3D racing game installed and working very well. Um, but I have gotten a pretty simple game, Tilt, working. And I actually had to change the Y and the X axis a little bit. The battery widget I had on the home page only does uh, by 10%. So oh, I'm not going to be able to play this, am I? <laughs> I have to hold it up and as you can see it's going to be difficult. Yeah, there's no way that I can play this. Yeah. But you get the idea. So um, overall this is a pretty, pretty cool device. A couple quirks with uh, some of the apps loading and the micro SD card. But overall, pretty cool. Uh, at Mary Mobiles, they did give us the cable to connect it to the TV, which is nice. And they were also nice enough to provide us with all the other accessories, including the leather case. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Other companies charge similar prices, but don't include those extras. And carrying this around, you definitely want to have a case. Um, although the resist resistive touchscreen is pretty durable, I wouldn't want it. Um, know, going around in my backpack or briefcase without uh, some protection. So there you have it. This is the Hi HiPad M701R, and uh, overall pretty sweet device, and uh, I'd recommend this as a buy. Um, check out Mary Mobiles for other devices, but th right now, um, at the time of this video, this is the best device on the market um, for the money. Thanks for watching.